Hello and welcome to the second part of Unit 9 and in this video we are looking at conditional sentences with IF clauses. So let's get started. The Stevensons reading dinner together. Can I go and play video games? No, you haven't eaten your vegetables. But they're disgusting. No, they're not. I'm not eating them. If you eat them, you'll be able to play games all night. And if I don't? If you don't eat them, you'll have to sit here all night. But, Mom... All night. And if you don't eat vegetables, you might get fat. But if you eat your carrots, you'll be able to see in the dark. Wow. Really? Yep. And if you eat lettuce, you'll turn green. You'll look like the Incredible Hulk. Okay. Okay. I'll eat them. So in English, we have to study conditionals. And today we're going to study the first conditional, okay? And we use the first conditional to show possible consequences. So the structure, we have our if clause, okay? Which is the condition. And this is constructed with if and then a clause in the simple present. Okay? And after that, we have the consequence, which is using the future with modals will, may, or might. So a condition can be if you exercise every day. So this if clause starts with if, then we have our subject and our verb like we do in all clauses. So if you exercise every day, in the consequence you will be fit and healthy. So we have our subject you, then our um, modal will, and then the verb be, okay? So this is the future possible consequence. If you exercise every day, you'll be fit and healthy. Okay, so just to look at the structure, we have our condition in the simple present tense, and then our consequence in the possible future. So our selection of the future modal affects the meaning of the consequence. So for example, if we use will or won't in our consequence, for example, if you get a job, you will earn money. So we've used will. If we choose this modal, it means it's very probable, or if we're using won't, improbable. Um, if we use will in conjunction with be able to, if you graduate from university, you'll be able to apply for more jobs. This means we'll have the ability or the opportunity. Okay, So if someone graduates from university, they have the ability or the opportunity to apply for more jobs. Then we have will have to. So if you use have to in uh, conjunction with will. So if you want to buy this TV, you'll have to pay $500. That means it's a necessity or an obligation. Okay. And finally, if we use may or might, for example, if you go to Europe in winter, you might see snow. Well, this means to maybe. So there's approximately a 50% chance. So let's try and complete these first conditionals. So the condition or the if clause. If you get your driver's license, you'll have to buy a car or you'll be able to buy a car. So if you have a driver's license, is it necessary to buy a car? Is someone going to force you to buy a car? No, it's your decision. But you will have 
the opportunity or the ability. So you could say if you get your driver's license you'll be able to buy a car. Now a final example is if you call 911 they may think it's an emergency or they'll think it's an emergency. Well if you work for the emergency call center you expect emergency calls so it's more than a 50-50 chance it's very probable that they will think it's an emergency okay so that's everything for this video so if you would like to do the activities below bye